three sets of ten. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So and I do them uh, with with uh, uh, dum dumbbells. Right. You you can take kettlebells. I find uh, dumbbells uh, uh, um, yeah, better because I can vary the weight uh, <coughs> easily and don't have, to have so much stuff around. So I usually start with with a classic. Yeah, so and while we're doing that, our legs are uh, um, uh, slightly wider <coughs> than our shoulders, and the feet pointing uh, uh, pointing forward, um, and uh, both legs are level. So. And I just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, <laughs> what I, I, I just just watched all of you uh, uh, a little bit. Um, what I didn't tell you is that you should engage your core while you do these exercises. Uh, a, it's easier, and B, you can practice breathing while you do that. Yeah? Um, and C, strong core, good position, good posture, uh, and that is what you do. Whenever you do uh, upper body strength exercises, Make sure your core is engaged and make sure you uh, can breathe properly. I will talk about breathing tomorrow. Yeah? So it's, it's just uh, a, a side show at, the, at this moment. Breathe in and do the jeans thing. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah? It's, no, no, and it, it, if you do that, you still yeah. can, 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 can breathe relatively freely, right? So, and uh, this movement here never go up here unless you have very very light weights yeah? doing the range of, of, of motion is not uh, um, uh, part of this exercise so you should do this uh, with other exercises okay so this takes care mainly of the uh, deltoid and if you uh, pinch your shoulders properly of the uh, uh, trapezoid right so uh, the muscle that is trained most is the uh, middle deltoid. Yeah? So we're, there, there are three of, three of them, the, the, the front, the back and the middle. Yeah? Um, and uh, we, but, but we want to train all of them. So the next exercise is this hunt goes back, same weight, same, same everything, and this one comes up here. Yeah. Hand goes behind, yeah, as far as it as it will go, and then yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, and uh, you can do much more targeted training on, on weight machines or something, but uh, these are uh, really, really nice exercises. And you can do them uh, with a, a six pint bottle of, uh, of milk or, or water or whatever. Um, and, and you can do it at home and you can do it uh, while you watch the Sopranos or what, what, what people like you watch these days. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <coughs> what are you watching? Uh, Spongebob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works well with Spongebob too. What's up? <laughs> um, so, and uh, now we're doing uh, something that might seem very, very similar. Again, this hand goes back, and it's important that when you do this exercise, that that, that hand goes back. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, as as far as it goes, yeah. But you will find that if you do that with moderate weights for a while, that your range of motion improves too. Um, okay, so this hand goes back, while this hand lifts up the dumbbell. Here, oh, yeah. 
And while our core is engaged, yeah. goes out here. Yeah? As far as it goes without, you have to drop it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't extend it with that same, with, with, with the weight you choose, uh, rather to take a little bit less, yeah? uh, if, you're, if, if, if you can't be asked uh, to take this stuff, then just don't push it as far, right? So, and now we are bringing it back with the elbow pointing downwards, dropping it, bringing it back, and push it across. Huh? And it's important not to turn here, stay, stay squared up. Yes. Yes. So punch to your opposite shoulder, kind of yeah. thing. And that hand? Yeah. Back. And bring it in. Drop it. And engage your core. Try, try to push it across. So ideally, ide ideally, you end up with 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 with, with your hand in front of, of the other shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. So I usually do uh, um, sets sets of ten, um, and uh, uh, I do ten each, uh, and this three times. Uh, yeah. So you want to mention the uh, weight difference of using heavy weights and lower weights the way you have made them? Yeah, okay, so um, you uh, <coughs> having moderate weights and higher repetitions uh, trains your muscle for endurance. For strength, you take heavier weights uh, and you need to combine two um, and you do only three reps uh, uh, and don't take too heavy weights uh, uh, you should be able to just about do that three reps but not that the third one is like uh, uh, so doing doing both um, heavy weights and then low weights will make you stronger uh, relatively fast um, uh, I'm not doing that much anymore because I'm, I'm just maintaining what, what, what I've got. So if you feel that you can't do, even with uh, uh, a couple of kilos, you can't do these, yeah? um, try to s take slightly heavier weight so that you can do this, just about do the three, yeah? uh, and um, then do the much, much lower weight to do your uh, the, the 10 reps, yeah? getting, getting that, that, that up there. Once you're there, once you can do with your chosen weight, which should be about uh, uh, one and a half times of your shield or so, yeah? uh, then uh, you can just maintain it. Yeah? You don't need to, if you want to, hey, if, if, if you can do this with 20 kilos each, hey, be my guest, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, these 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 are the uh, uh, exercises for upper body strength. 